the wildlife that is usually present here has disappeared. The crabs roam the almost deserted seabed in search of any remaining prey. It's more than likely that they are responsible for this carnage. This is a standard size male king crab. The biologists are taking it to a laboratory to study its predatory habits. Lise's fears have been realized. During the last 10 years, the crabs have come to Porsanga, a fjord that travels more than 60 miles inland and have settled almost everywhere. The next step is to evaluate the impact of the king crab on marine life. Their claws are long and agile. Their function is not just mechanical. They're extremely sophisticated and they enable the crabs to locate their prey. Underneath its prickly shell, the king crab hides a network of highly sensitive sensors along its legs. They send a stream of information to the brain. Touch sensitive hair is located on the ends of its claws and can detect shells that are buried in the sand. It captures and manipulates its victims with menacing skill. It has small, agile fingers on the side of its mouths. It is covered with tactile hairs that determine the taste and suitability of its prey. If it's okay to eat, the crab moves the food towards its mouth. The crab uses its mandible to crack the shell into pieces and tear the flesh apart before swallowing it. The biologists look at the unedited images. The king crab and the sea anemone is mm. eating aggressively the, uh, the uh, medusa here. Yeah, it's amazing. It's and amazing. it's not even uh, affected at all by these uh, sting stings, no. sting cells. No, it even takes it right into the mouth. Yeah, and it looks actually, actually find it tasty. Yeah. The young crab has caught a jellyfish and doesn't seem to be affected by its sting. Are really fighting for them as something, uh, yeah. as a treat. That's it seems amazing. like the king crab is winning. He can even, even take it out of the sea animals. Dragging it out of yeah. the mouth, yeah. So it's a really, it's a really aggressive yeah, predator really competitive in, in this new uh, habitat. Yes. So they get easily through their defense mechanisms. Yeah, so uh, through thousands of years, this, uh, these species have adapted to their environment, but suddenly a new invasive uh, is coming in mm. and they are harmless. They cannot protect themselves for this kind of uh, predation. Lise visits a study center near the city of Tromsø in order to learn more about the king crab's diet. She is attempting to measure the amount of food that each crab consumes on a daily basis in order to estimate the damage that a crab colony can cause in a fjord.
Liz distributes prey to the captive crabs. The prey has been counted. This investigation is very important because we need to know what it is eating, uh, what size of prey it is eating, and also how fast it is eating. Because without this, we will not be able to make any calculation about how fast the nature environment will change in future. So this is a very important experiment. The experiment takes place at night. This is the period of maximum activity for the king crab. They are filmed for 12 hours. The crabs start by attacking the starfish. They have soft flesh and are easy to catch. They then start devouring the sea urchins. The crabs easily pierce their armor in spite of their spines. what has happened during the night. So I see that it seems as everybody has been eaten at least one sea urchin and one sea star. And extrapolating this to the nature, uh, we will see that for each king crab per day, they will eat, remove uh, prey or two prey. So that will make a difference if the population of king crab becomes big enough. By eliminating certain prey, such as the starfish, and by sparing the larger prey, such as the bivalves, the king crabs have created an imbalance in the ecosystem and consequently have caused a loss of biodiversity. The king crab does not only use its claws to search for food. It also has remote sensors that allow it to locate prey that is out of sight. These antennas are the equivalent of the nose. They constantly sweep the area in search for prey. They have ultra-sensitive sensors that are able to detect more than 400 different molecular odors. The crab lurks on full alert in the hunting area. It has detected prey using its antennae. It comes across a sea urchin. It cracks the shell open in just a few seconds. The shell gives the crab the calcium it needs to strengthen its own shell. 